passion for communities has been, is, as a company, has come from me, is my passion for communities and being involved. And, um, and, it, and it might be something to the extent that, as a kid, my, my dad was transferred between jobs around and we moved around a bit. So just when you started to get involved in the community as a kid, you were you know, whisked away to another community. And so uh, community's home. It's where you get to know everybody, you get to know uh, all the businesses, all the, the, the uh, nonprofits, all the, the people that run the community. And it's where, um, where we are. There are our neighbors, there are our customers, there are there our friends. We have employees that are active in community events, and, and we are too. Um, we, we also want to help those that we can't be active in that, that have a great cause and really benefit the people of the community, making the whole area better to live in and work. You know, and our involvement with Camp Rising Sun is one that uh, one of our now former employees and current friends, um, his daughter, um, went to Camp Rising Sun. And I saw the, the look on their face as, as, as a mother and father with a little girl who, who in the, the little girl had a uh, diagnosis of, of a form of cancer. And you see the anguish on the, on the parent's face and the fear. You know, and oftentimes it's greater than the child because the child really doesn't understand what they're going through, just that they have to go to the doctors a lot. And so um, we learned about Camp Rising Sun because of, the, of not only her, but the other children we met that you know, would go uh, to normal school and be under chemotherapy or radiation or any kind of treatment and be a five-year-old without hair or be a six-year-old on, on crutches. And the unfortunate part in school, that as much as we kind of try to tamp it down as a community, you know, the kids get teased. And so it's really hard on them. So to be able to go to a camp once a year with a bunch of kids that look beyond cancer because they all have it or, or fought it or had it, lets them really be like a kid. With Military Warriors Support Organization, we, we, we became involved with them. Um, we've always contributed to, to areas of, of veterans' causes in the communities that we serve. Just by and large, you know, having members of my own family that served and many of our employees that, are, that have served or that currently served as reservists or otherwise, um, we felt passionate about it and we knew there was a need there. And um, the Military Warrior Support Organization came to us through a common denominator, and that's being our involvement with uh, J.P. Morgan Chase and with the president of Subaru. And both of them recommended uh, us as a company that would be really interested in, in seeing what they're doing because they've done a lot of awards of houses, but they haven't done as many cars. We met the organization, we met with them. They were obviously very well vetted and uh, very passionate about what they did. And, um, and that was an ability for us to be impactful. We like being impactful in finding a wounded hero and then a, a wife of a fallen hero. Um, it was something we really could be impactful in and, 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 and want to do. And I see us continuing to do it in the future. We want to make a direct impact. We want to see the people that we impact. We want to shake people's hands, and we want to know that the money went to truly helping people. We'll remain very involved with Camp Rising Sun. Um, we believe in that, and we'll do that. We'll remain invade, uh, involved with veterans' activities. We're involved with uh, um, animal shelters. There's an amazing no-kill animal shelter here in Brantford. Um, that is unbelievable what they do uh, and will remain involved with you know Meals on Wheels and some of the other national charities in our stores. I, I would like to think that members of the community are better because we're involved. I would like to think people are better off 
And I, I don't have anything scientific that would say whether that's true or not. But if I walk into a grocery store, laundromat, a uh, restaurant to get something and we see you know, customers or see people that know, even that don't buy anything with us, I do get an awful lot of thank yous from people. And, um, and that really means a lot, especially those that have no connection with us because they're understanding what we did, why we did it, and um, why it was the right thing to do.